Hello, administrators, and welcome to Ask a Geek, where your questions get answers with as little geek speak as possible. Today's question comes from Argyle Elementary School, Teresa Roman. Thank you. She had heard that we were beginning to develop icons or links from the portal, which is the place where most, hopefully all, of the teachers are beginning and ending their day uh, at the my.oneclay.net uh, portal. Um, she had heard that we were beginning with some of the schools to create these links. As you can see one here um, for Wilkinson Junior High, they're the Eagles, so we created a nest. Uh, the CHE or Clay Hill Elementary uh, Bulldogs are uh, the dog park. Um, and all these are simply, this is Wilkinson Elementary School, the Wildcat Den, and then the Lakers uh, have the Lakeside Elementary School has the lake. So all this is is a link. If you um, are a Lakeside Elementary teacher, admin, or staff, you see inside your portal this icon. You don't see any of the other icons. You just see your Lakeside Lake. And if you double click on it, it takes that administrator or that teacher or that staff member, not students, just those people into a drive or a folder on their drive just for the school to see, um, not students again. And the beautiful thing about this is, is as you can tell, this particular um, school has got all the information, their grade level, their handbooks, their pre-planning, any duty stations. They've got it all in one spot, very easy to find. So uh, the neat thing is your teachers start here, begin here. They have now a spot that can bring them or a place that can bring them into a common. So if they're looking for something, you can always say, oh, well, the phone numbers are in the nest. So they can get to the nest this way by opening it up, or they can get simply within their drive, they can go look for it because I'm going to show you how you're going to share it with them. So this part we do for you. The portal part, we'll create the icon, we'll create the link. We're going to ask you to send us a link. You're going to do an issue track and send us the link. But the part that you control that's kind of beautiful because you get that power, that control, starts here inside your drive. So let me go ahead and show you. You're going to be, as the administrator, you're going to be inside your Google Drive. That's drive.google.com. You'll begin there. And you can right click inside this gray area and go to new folder or you can come over here to the red button and click on new and go to folder. Either way you get to it, you'll have the ability then to title up your folder. Right now I'm just going to use Oakleaf High School. So Oakleaf High School and they're the Knights. So I am just going to be very creative and take creative license and call this the OHS Roundtable. Again, you can call it anything you want to. Be as creative as possible. And if you need help with creativity, you know I'm only an email away. It's my favorite thing to do. So um, Oak Leaf High School is, uh, I've now created a folder. Let me hit create. This is the job of the administrator that you're in to create that folder. Notice currently that no one is sharing that folder. No one, there's no little, sorry, there's no little person in that folder. This folder, the dog park has been shared already. The den has been shared. The nest has been shared. But this particular OHS roundtable that I just created has not been shared with anybody. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and there's nothing in there. But this is the ability. This Now, now you have the ability because you own this folder to add to it. So you can add your schedules. You can add your uh, duty stations. You can add whatever documents that you want the entire staff to see. So that's what this is for. So let me go ahead with the next step, and that is you need to send us the link so that we can then link it in the portal. We can create an icon for you and link it in the portal. So the link that you're going to send us, here I sit, and I just created this folder. You can either click on that folder and go down to Share, or if you're back out here at your drive, you can find it, right-click on it, and go to share. So again, remember, we're looking for that shareable link. So if you get to this point, you're going to not necessarily, not yet, put anything here, but you are going to go up to get shareable link in the top right corner. Click on that, and it's going to open up this, and it automatic, usually automatically defaults to anyone at the school district 
with this link can view. That's what you want. You don't want them editing it. You don't want them in your stuff yet. So at this point, you're going to send in an issue track. You're going to request uh, a, a icon be put in your portal. Give me the name if you want to, um, and then send this link. So the way you copy this link is you hit copy, and it goes ahead and copies it to the clipboard for you, or you can right-click on it and copy it that way. So either way, you copy that link, and you at this point you can close all that down, hit done, and go over to your issue track, paste in that long link in there, and send us an issue track saying, please create a icon in the portal for my, you know, drive, for my school drive, and call it this, or I sure could use some help be creative, or however you want to word it. But that link is what's really important that it gets to, to us. We'll then link it in your portal to this icon, and we will push this out to just your teachers and staff and administrators in the portal. So when they open up my.oneclay.net, they'll only see this. But let's be honest, they can also, when they're in their drive, they can also see this. It just gives them two ways to do it. But they technically can't see it yet because you have to now share it with them. So the second part of this is to make it available to them inside their drive. And the way you're, are you with me still? <laughs> Take a deep breath. Oh, we're almost done. Um, so the way you share this is you're going to right click and go to share just like from before. And at this point, we're going to inside here the specific people that you're going to share it with. Well, instead of having to type out everybody's name in your school or your all your staff or all your teachers or all your admin, you're going to actually go to this little box and you're going to type in OHS and as you begin to type it you'll start seeing some of the options here. You're going to hit all at OHS. So this one here. Click on that. You do not want them to edit. Um, there might be some folders and pockets of areas that you want them to edit but at this point you're just talking about that whole folder that's the round table. You don't want them to edit. So you're going to come over to here Move that down to Can View. And if you're ready, you can go ahead and hit the Notify. It automatically defaults to that. But if you're not quite ready yet, you don't want them to necessarily start poking around yet, you can click that off. And then hit OK. And it will go ahead and share it with all of them so they can see it in their drive. They will also, once we get done on our end, they'll also be able to see it in their portal. So there's one last step that I like to do because I can see this being a, a collaborative effort. There might be some of your staff members, your um, tech specialists, your secretary, your um, other admins on staff that you want to add and give edit rights to. So if let's just pretend like I'd already gone ahead and hit, and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and X this out. So I'm here again and I want to share this with my um, admin or one particular staff member. So I'm going to type in that person's name, find their you know uh, email address, and then come over here and actually can edit. So there are specific people that I don't mind having editing rights. I want them to be able to add things to that folder. So then in that case you do that and then you hit send. So we're going to go ahead and get cancel because there's no such thing as the round table yet. Uh, so I hope that helps. Um, uh, there'll be some future, uh, future uh, videos to help you um, to organize it maybe a little bit more. Wilkinson Junior High Nest has done it so that their teams have separate folders. And only those people in the teams, they've made their sharing rights on here, only those people in the teams have the rights to edit it. The other school, the other rest of the school can view it but they cannot edit it. So there's some unique ways, and I'll have follow-up videos. So I hope that helps. Remember that if you want it in the portal, issue track it, and let us know that you want an icon to your drive in the portal. This is the link that you want it to link to, and this is the name of it, or boy, I sure could use some help with the creative end of it. Either way, you want to. So I hope this video has helped. Uh, good luck. Uh, creating your nest or lake or round table or whatever you decide to create. Take care. Thank you.